This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday and our final here at Joel Coliseum, Boston College 80 and Wake Forest 72. Great as always on a Saturday to be with Dan Bonner and sometimes the decision is in the details and that's what happened today in Boston College's eight point win. Absolutely. Boston College did not shoot the ball well Wes only a little better than 40 percent but they generated turnovers. They scored 15 points off those turnovers. They got offensive rebounds. They scored 12 points as a result of the offensive rebounds. I thought that was really the key. We talked at the top of our telecast how important the bigs would be for their respective schools and the junior from California Ryan Anderson delivered for BC. Yeah he really did. He was he was very good. Good. five for ten shooting but his main ability was he was able to get to the free throw line he had six offensive rebounds but going 14 for 16 from the free throw line I thought was a huge key well Anderson led the charge four Eagles in double figures and he tells us about the victory Ryan you made a living at the free throw line today what uh, what caused that I don't know coach has been telling us to play a lot harder uh, on offense and defense and uh, when you just play hard things seem to go your way. Well Dan and I were remarking during the game we know BC's got a really good hockey program seeming like, like coach Donahue was doing line changes throughout the day. Casey Caldwell come in it was two and three guys seemingly at every break. Yeah he was just trying to bring a lot of energy. Um, anytime someone got fatigued on the court he was bringing in a fresh body just so we could keep the energy up uh, keep a crack uh, crash in the offensive glass which was a key for us and just trying to bring as much energy as possible. Ryan talk about those off offensive rebounds a little bit. They have not been a strength for your team this year. What was the key today? Uh, I think we just played a little bit bigger lineup today. Like you said, Casey Cotto came in and gave us some really great minutes. Even though Will McGarity got into some foul trouble early, he still gave us a lot of energy. And I think it's just a matter of having an attitude about it and a mindset that we're going to go get the ball today that we haven't had in the past. Congratulations. Good luck Tuesday night against Florida State. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. So for Boston College, a victory for them. And the, the free throw numbers, uh, you just see 74 free throws attempted in the ball game, Dan. <laughs> a lot of free throws. Uh, you see Wake Forest did a pretty good job defending the Boston College three, but they weren't able to control the middle, particularly Boston College was able to get, get in there and get to the line. Second chance points, you see 12-0, 15-9 off the turnovers. Wake Forest had 12 of them. So the final here in Winston-Salem, Boston College 80, Wake Forest 72. This is the ACC. Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.